what's up guys <clears throat> so today we've got something a little bit different to the normal uh, I'm going to show you guys a bit of a project car which I've bought but in this bit we're only just going to do a little bit to it today just going to take the um, the wings off the rear bumper off and yeah just show you around a little bit what needs doing and then maybe I'll talk about the plans <clears throat> but for now we'll just go have a bit of a tidy up of the garage and basically just show you around the car a little bit so I'll see you in a second. Well, first things first, just come to the garage. You can see there's a hell of a lot of crap in there. Just gonna take it down to the tip, then we'll come back and we'll show you the car. Excuse my face, it's a little bit bright out here, which is unusual. Um, yeah, we have been to the tip. We've got rid of everything. You can see it's just my work boots. But otherwise, yeah, we're all good to go back to the garage. And then, yeah, I'll just bring out the car, show you all around. So we're back here from the tip. We open the garage, get the car out. A bit cobwebby. So yeah, here it is. Civic EJ9. It's the D14 engine for now. We'll grab keys and for those of you who will know one of these it's not very often these work on the button but this does so that's quite handy by all means it's not the cleanest in the world but that's the idea of a project car hoping the battery isn't dead which doesn't appear to be Yeah, it's not too bad. The wing isn't the cleanest, so big shout out to Chris at Honda Nuts. He gave me another wing. The side skirts are in here. Front bumper's in here because we couldn't get it on the trailer. And he's also given us a spare door because one of the doors ain't so great. Ignore the rattling, that's just the exhaust mount. At the end of the day, that's, it is what it is. around there isn't nothing major apart from one of which which I'll show you in a little while but otherwise it's all right you could probably take the engine out and sell it run fine all the gears going all right it's a little bit shaky which is probably due to a gearbox mount or bush something like that but the tires obviously flat which been sat for a while otherwise generally the seals quite clean nothing too bad I say the only bad thing which would be quite hard to show you because of where it is with the door is that little bit there so it only really requires just a little bit of cutting out cleaning up which I will do being a welder fabricator it's not too difficult to do something like that but otherwise it's quite a clean shell for its age by all means Let's do 
good. Oh, and the fact that someone's cut the springs, that doesn't help really either. But, yeah, so we're going to go ahead, turn this off, and then you pull the wings off and the rear bumper. So first things first, I think we're just going to take the headlights off. It'll be the easiest thing, I think, first. I'm just going to pop these little clips for the black plastic trims uh, with Archliner, sorry. And then, yeah, just going to take the wing off. Don't look like it would be too hard. So I'll get them off, then we'll go have a look. Just got the headlights off without too much of a drama, but a little bit here snapped the headlight because someone had done the bolt up really, really tight and it had been seized on. So no matter what I tried, I tried to wedge it with a bar but it just wouldn't do nothing it's still attached to that just a bit here of the wing but it's not too much of an issue i still hold up fine if worse to worse i'll just get another one but yeah so both the headlights are off now just gonna work on getting the wings off before it starts to rain so that's one wing off it's a bit of a nightmare if i will say only because of these stupid black clips that Honda seem to love way too much. Um, yeah, that's one side off. Just got to knock that uh, indicator out, but I'll do that at a later date. So yeah, it's really not all that bad. On here, just again, a little bit of surface rust, nothing, a little sand. Won't fix. Just some paint coming off. Too much of an issue to be honest. Easy enough to fix, it's all pretty clean in there, which is the main thing. As long as the structural is pretty good, I don't care how rusty the rest is. Um, yeah, probably you'll need a new one of them. So if anyone watching this can find or supply any, let me know. But yeah, we'll move around and go to the other side now. So I've now managed to get both of the wings off headlights are out I had to use a knife to cut them stupid clips off the other side was fine um, yeah again like this side the other side isn't too bad again a little bit surface rust a little bit dust nothing too major uh, just started raining I don't know if you can see but we're just going to move the car back now and then just take the bumper off in a garage at the back and that should be it for today. I'm a little bit dark so I put my light on. I'm going to finish taking the rest of the rear bumper off next time I come up here because the screw this side's quite hard to get out. I've unscrewed it halfway but the angle is just quite awkward. So I'm going to wait till I have a jack at hand which I'm going to bring tools and axle stands and everything so I can put this on four axle stands in the air um, so yeah I'll have to wait till I jack that up so I can get to it easy enough to bring them all out but that's not a problem it'll take two minutes once it's in the air because all the clips that are out there on the top and the bottom that's all that's holding it is a screw there on the other side and I'm just going to cut all this expanding foam rubbish I went a bit uh, mad with the expanded foam you could say um, but yeah no that's not far off being where it where I want it before I start sanding it down etc so yeah hope you enjoyed the video leave a like comment anything you'd like to see and don't forget to subscribe to see the rest of the build throughout the year bye for now